Welcome to Cowshot Manor Barn in Surrey, England. The barn dates back to the 15th century and many of the oak beams have been repaired or replaced by master craftsmen from the same company responsible for rebuilding Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. Welcome to Warrior Flow TV and a grounding seated stretch for the shoulders and hips with Yanti Amos. So we'll go straight into our intention now and to do our intention before any of our practice uh, seated stretches today, uh, it really isn't anything fancy, but it is a grounding and a reality check uh, for you be before any yoga or meditation practice. So hands towards the heart or hands can be on your thighs or knees. You are thinking and sending good positive energy towards a project, an idea, an, an intention or a hope, anything that is unique to you that you wish to manifest. So remember no wrong and no right here. This is really up to you what your sankalpa is. Hands to the heart, breathing into it. With the first breath, you may think of details regarding this intention. Maybe they appear to you in your mind's eye. Good, and with this next breath, perhaps you see that this intention has actually been realized. It's actually been completed. So breathe into it and see that the act, the wish, the plan, the desire, the commitment, whatever it is, may already be manifested. Good. Gently releasing the hands to the knees or to the thighs. So from here, let's begin by sending the arms up high. Reach up, look up, and exhale. Palms lower through the heart. Go two more. Inhale, scoop, look up. Maybe a baby back bend if you're looking for more of a stretch. Exhale, palms lower. One more, inhale. And look up, stretch it, and lower down. Very nice. From here, I'm coming into some side bending. So I lower the hand. You're gonna be in mirror image, so it'll, this will be your left hand. Reach up. As you reach up, side bend. Keep both uh, hips steady. So you're not lifting one. Notice I'm lifting this up. I want to stay grounded. So as I reach up and look up, I might even lower. Uh, this arm is coming, to, uh, wants to come to the front of the mat. But I want to open up a little bit and I'll feel it through my uh, shoulder blade scapula and I'll stretch. But I really feel this through my side ribs. And then I'll take a gaze downwards. So as I look down at the mat, notice I'm rotating. So I'm rotating, looking down. I'm still stretching with the top arm. And I'll do one more each side. So meaning I'll look up, I'll side bend. Good, and then I'll look down again. I'm grounding through this bottom hand. So I feel it through the back body, into the side ribs, and also through the front body now. Good, and let's take it the other side. Now this is your, uh, gonna be your right hand. So reach up and side bend, stretch it. Now my right elbow really wants uh, to sink a little towards the, the camera, but I want to open up a little towards the back body. Good, and I'm going to look down. So as I look down, I'm breathing, feeling the stretch. I've got one more. So I'll look high. I'll look towards the ceiling. I'll stretch through this top arm. As I look, oh yes, I feel it through the back body into scapula, and I'll look down again. Nice, and then I come back center. From here, because I've got uh, very tight shoulders, and this is a little bit about shoulders this morning. So hands on your shoulders and take gentle circles. Lead the elbows up, around, and down. I'm gonna do two more, so lift up, around, and down. Keep breathing and take it around, other direction. As you feel this, you notice you're rounding out the upper torso here and you start to feel a little more warm, a little more awake. Good. So 
I'm taking the hands, I'm pushing. So as I interlace, I push forward and I reach up. So I'm coming up high, high. Good, hands lower to the heart, good, push. So I'm pushing, sitting up and stretching. My arms are right by my uh, nearest, you notice. So instead of here, I'm seeing if I can get a little bit higher, but I'm, instead of flaring out the ribs, I'm seeing if I can integrate the bottom. Good, nice, let's do just one more. Hands through the heart space, push. And reach up, biceps by the ear, stretch it, good. From here, I'm gonna send the arm across, stretch. And bring the same arm, elbow high. Good, and release, other side. Send it across the body. So as you send it across, I feel a little stretch. Ooh, I've been working uh, the upper body recently, so I feel a little tight here. Let's go ahead and bend. So bend the elbows, bring it right by your ears, like we did before, but even more so because you've got the benefit of this hand here. Good, and from here, interlace behind you. Take a breath, open up through the chest, exhale, bow down, draw in and up through the belly button. So I'm actually drawing the bum that in. So I feel the stretch as I bow down. Take the head to where it's comfortable. You don't have to go super low. Two more. Inhale, maybe I start to lift the clasp a little higher and I bow down to my degree. One more, inhale, look up and exhale, round down and draw belly button in. Nice, good. I have very tight shoulders today, so I'm feeling it. Good, so palms face up, elbows in, shrug up. So I'm shrugging the shoulders towards the ears, but I'm actually actually exhaling to wrap around. So notice you cannot see my elbows here. I've got a few more. So inhale to shrug up, exhale, wrap around and down. Do you notice how you're actually drawing the shoulder blades in towards the back body? Good, hopefully that feels good. Inhale, shrug up and exhale, wrap around and down. Good, very nice. Press now, hands on your inner thighs. So I'm coming into seated cat cows and from here I'll round up, push into the thighs into the ground, look down at your feet, and as you round, showing you from the side, I see how my upper back is rounded, and I'm slowly rolling the shoulders back and down. There's a baby little dip or a curve in my lower back as I send the seat behind me. So I'm gonna open up. You'll have a chance to get into the rhythm of this as you draw the core in, push the thighs into the floor, look at your feet, and then alternate, so you're opening up. As you look up, see where it's comfortable to look up to. And then round out, you've got a few more. So nice for the lower middle and upper back. And open. Good. One more round, so push. And open it up. Feeling really nice here. We're gonna do some seated spinal twists now. So I'm gonna show you here. My left hand, this is gonna be your right, will reach for the opposite knee. As you reach for the opposite knee, look behind you. So from the side, it just looks like this. I'm looking for a seated spinal twist where I draw everything in and up, and there's a, uh, an axis point. So I like to think about it as a golden thread running through the middle of your rib cage and quite close to your spine, but also through the center of your head and through the center of your pelvis. Think about that axis, rotating, coiling, spiraling, so that you look behind you and you're turning on that golden thread of an axis point. Good, draw everything in. Sometimes my shoulder wants to lift, I'm gonna draw it down and keep the, the, the shoulders as level as you can, drawing in belly button. So now my left uh, rib cage is rotating to that space behind me. Good. I'm lifting it up. I feel rotation. At least three breaths here. Soften your face and feel that nice twist. Good. So notice how I might have my hands here. I've got long arms for my short body. So I want to send the hands a little behind me so that I'm not shrugging or doing anything that causes tension. Good. So from that position, another side bend. So now I feel a real diagonal as I press and as I 
use the lever or the leave, uh, leverage of this, um, this knee. I'm side bending. I take a moment to lift my chin and I'm looking towards the sky. Good, and I stretch a little more through this top arm because it can, it can get lazy in it. And if you activate it, it does definitely feel different. Good, from here, I'm lowering this top elbow on the inside of the bottom elbow and I'm going for my eagle arms. So eagle arms here as I lift up. So I'm lifting up the, uh, the fingers and also the elbows. As I round down, I'm allowing the head to fall forward and also a rounding of my upper uh, back. So shoulders don't have to do anything, but notice how the, what shape I'm making. As I draw down, I am still feeling it through my navel. So enjoy that lower, middle and upper back stretch. It's going to feel very, very rounded here. And fold. Nice, good. From here, I'll go the other direction. So now it's my right hand on my left knee and I look behind me. So I draw everything in up. Think about the golden thread, the axis point. So we're rotating that nice guiding uh, visual that you'll have as you think about this rotation. Rather than just a turn, think about everything happening internally. So look behind you, feel lengthen and feel light. And your buttocks are still on the mat, nothing's lifting. You feel supported. Good. That's how you feel. Another big breath in. We want to do, as we said, we want to do at least three nice cycles of breath. And I want to show you from the front and the side. So let's take it to the side bend. Stretching with the top arm, lift the chin. Take a gaze high, high, and hopefully do feel uh, differently in this side bend because we uh, did one earlier and it would have been a little early in your warm up. So you probably felt a little tighter. Good, let's go for our eagle wrap. Now, eagle wrap, fingers up, and elbows one on top of the other, and then you come into this eagle wrap. I did want to say to you, everyone, if you would prefer, and if eagle arms are not happening for you today, you can always reach for your shoulders. You could always go for just a prayer. No need to push it if it's not happening today. So, lift up. I am going to try for it today though, so do choose what you need and please feel free to modify it according to uh, where you're at. Nice. So feel lift up and release the arms. Send the arms wide and release them to the knees or to the thighs, anywhere that feels comfortable. Nice. So let's go ahead and send the feet out in front. So it looks like this. Soles of the feet on the mat, knees are up, they're bent, and we'll release. So let's release the knees, making a 90 degree shape with both the left and the right. Look to the side, you might even twist behind you, look behind you if you want to. Good. So you're upright, try not to lean back so much as upright. Good. Come center, use the breath, and take it to the other side. Good. And inhale, lift the knees, other side again. Twist if you want, and then come center, other side, little twist to the back, good. Nice, come back center. From here, I'll come into a figure four on my uh, bent legs. So when I come to my figure four, I hope you can see, the knee is out. It's going to want to sink in towards my chest, but I'll flex through the foot and try to nudge that knee away from my body. Good. So I'm taking a few breaths here. I'm going to show you again from the side so it looks like this. So as I come into my figure four, I'm nudging the knee away rather than letting it sink in. And I'm using my support, uh, uh, both hands as, as my support. And I could very well lean back, but I want to bring the chest as close as I can to that shin. I'm using my breath. It's quite intense. And if it is too much, you can always just back off. So send that uh, supporting leg a little further away from you, or indeed you could lean back a little. I do, however, want to work that hip, so I'm bringing that whole shape a little closer to me. And I am breathing. I also feel it through that right 
in my case this is my I'm working my right hip good now you know how we uh, turn left and right we're going to do the same thing so we send that shape to the right sitting up and back good now we're going the other direction so try to keep that uh, three to four shape to the degree you can and back Using your inhales and exhales, remember one more each side, so you're coming into this figure four. Sit up, good. I'm already starting to feel a little rotation. So this is what we are looking for, good. And let's go the other direction. Quite intense on the hips. Good, bring it back. Good, let's release. So as we release, shake it out if you need to, and then just windshield wipe the knees left and right. the other side so as we come into the figure four this hip seems to be a little bit more open for me right the right side for me is a little tight so I'm trying my best on this side okay it looks like this from the front I'll take a few breaths as I nudge the chest closer to the shin and as I also continue to nudge this knee away from the body so instead of this I'm actually nudging it away Flexing strongly through the foot, so notice I'm not letting it just be a little spaghetti foot. I am strong, nice and flexed, good. Couple more breaths, and I'm really feeling it through the high hamstrings. I feel it through the hip joint, and I am breathing. Good. So I am going to sink. So I, I'll twist, so I drop the whole shape to one side, foot behind. And come back center, other side. So as I find it, good. Keeping that figure four shape and coming back center. Already I'm starting to feel a little bit more open because I've already done the first side. Good. And I'm filling. Good. I'm twisting it. Good. It's quite intense, but it feels good. And then I'll release it. So. As I release, windshield wipe the legs again, little left and right. Good. Now, I return to my 90-90, my 90-90 on, on both legs. My right hand is going to be right by my right hip and I lift up the hip. So I'm lifting up and I'm coming into a baby back then. So as I lift up, I narrow down. I've got two more like this. So inhale. If you need to grip onto the mat here and lower down one more inhale to lift it and exhale lower it down let's come center and other side left hand now near the left hip and I lift up the hips and I stretch it I'm gonna go two more times so inhale lift it and stretch it and lower down good lift it to lower. Good. From here, I just windshield wipe both directions. Good. And soles of the feet together. So as the soles of the feet are together, I might notice that uh, I am a little bit tight this morning for me. So as I find this shape, oh, maybe my feet are happier in a diamond shape rather than feet quite close to my groin. So you choose here which is best for you. Interlace the hands, make a little nest around the feet, but still try to open up gently with the uh, soles of the feet, opening like pages in a book. So as you do that, draw everything in and up, exhale, elbows to your shins, nudge the knees away, and send the chest forward. Good, you have two more breaths. So inhale, lift to lengthen, exhale, flat back if you can. Core in and up. Good, one more. Inhale. Don't forget to curl at the mouth, smiling a little bit, grateful and thankful, appreciative for the body that you have. Good, one more. Inhale and exhale. Knees might start to lower towards the mat or not, it just depends. Good, slowly rise up. And as you find a comfortable seated position, so soften the face again. Hopefully this was a good little uh, stretch and warm up to start your day. Please add on whatever you need to add on, but it is something uh, I highly
highly encouraged for the start of every morning. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone. Namaste. Great job.